doing today? My name is Steven Rosenberg, and you'll see to the next me is Gene Ginsberg. This is a very special edition of Marketing Success in under 10 minutes, even though I just did 11. So today we have some really cool topics to discuss with everyone. Gene, why don't you start us off? Awesome. Steven, thank you so much. We love our video podcast or whatever. I don't know. What do you think we should call it, Steven? Is it a video yeah, podcast? Th this is a, yeah, I, I think it's, it's got to be something revolutionary, but I think we can figure that out. I'd love to hear what the audience thinks it should be, but yeah, like a... A V-cast. Like a, a V-cast. You should call it a V-cast. Yeah. V -cast. yeah. Or no, some people have called it a video blog. Uh, a video blog, yeah. yeah. I guess it could be a video blog. Or a V-cast. Yeah. But I like V-cast. Yeah. So we love putting together this V-cast video blog for our audiences. Every week. And we always love to hear your, your thoughts, your ideas, uh, comments, questions that you have for us. But what we want to do here is we want to bring you a cool idea or a cool concept or something that's trending in the yeah. industry and of course value in under 10 minutes every week and we hope you find this helpful. And today we are going to talk about selecting a marketing automation platform. So one of the things that we do at our, at our agency here at Chinball is we create funnels for our clients and so having a marketing automation platform is extremely important for us and for our clients and so we have a lot of experience with that and one of the questions that I get a lot when I talk to potential clients is what is a marketing automation platform and how should I select it. So today, what is a marketing that's, platform? That's a good question. And how should I select it? <laughs> very, see, all, all very good questions. Thank you for bringing those up, Stephen. So, yeah, absolutely. I'll start with what a marketing automation platform is. So, for some of you who are, might not be familiar or who might be just entering the digital marketing space, a marketing automation platform allows you to create a funnel within this platform that automatically sends emails to users based on their behavior. So it could be anything from maybe they clicked on a link or maybe they purchased a product. So, uh, so we would be able to, you or you know, whoever's using this marketing automation platform will be able to architect a funnel based on your user's, user's behavior. So that is what a marketing automation platform is used for or what it is and then it's primarily used for creating funnels and you, know, you would need that so that way you're not, your, your sales reps or your marketing people are not like responding to emails um, all the time. I mean, I'm sure that you know, you're, they probably are responding to emails, but it's basically designed in a way to automate things so that way you're not doing everything manually or your team is not doing everything manually. So very important has been a big trend in the marketing space and in entrepreneurship and just, I mean, I think most now brands have a marketing automation platform um, in some capacity or another. So. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it because, again, you can automate a lot of points. So the questions that I have is like, how do you select a uh, marketing automation platform? So there's a couple, uh, well, there's actually, I'd say more than a couple. There's probably about a dozen or so uh, marketing automation platforms out there. And they range um, everything. So the, the key points that I think I want to talk about are going to be like price and functionality, um, so yeah, I'd say those are the, the kind of the main points, Price, the main points to look into when you're selecting a marketing automation yeah. platform. So I'd say on the higher end would be something like a Marketo or a HubSpot. They're very, you know, pretty robust. Um, definitely. And I just wanted yeah. to say thanks so much to HubSpot for sponsoring this wonderful video <laughs> here on YouTube. Um, just I, no, just I don't think HubSpot is sponsoring them, and I, we don't want to get into legal trouble here <laughs> by with HubSpot. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. So I'm gonna say Ixnay on sponsorships from HubSpot, um, <laughs> but I will talk about HubSpot from as a as a marketing automation yeah, platform. Ahead, um, so yeah, on the, on the higher end would be those two. Um, definitely, you know, more robust, uh, higher price points, and uh, I'd say more used for bigger brands. Um, so if you're a bigger brand, I definitely would recommend looking into those too. Um, for our audiences who are more entrepreneurs, I would say there's a few platforms mm -hmm. out there that are kind of mid um, range in terms of pricing to a lower price point. So in terms of the mid range, I would say um, Infusionsoft is one that uh, we have used a lot in our agency. We have a number of clients who are on Infusionsoft. Um, the positive thing about Infusionsoft, it is very robust. Um, it does also incorporate 
have the ability to incorporate e-commerce into the platform. So that way you have your marketing automation platform, you have your email platform, and you have your e-commerce platform all in one platform, which is very beneficial. So if you have a digital marketing product, um, it's very easy to integrate everything all into Infusionsoft. So that way you don't have like to have a separate shopping cart, which then has to ping your um, marketing automation platform. So there's might be some integration involved there. So Infusionsoft, um, kind of mid-range, I'd say. There is a setup fee and then there's a monthly uh, fee that's in a couple hundred dollars range um, so or Jeez. a few hundred dollars so yes I've used it quite a bit myself um, so I would highly recommend it again if you are looking for something a little bit more robust and if you have let's say digital product that you need to have integrated into your marketing automation platform um, for other uh, for maybe people who are your entrepreneurs who are kind of starting out I would suggest into looking there's a few platforms that I have used in the past and I've recommended to clients and they are ones like active campaign aweber get response drip so they're all in I guess I'd say starting off at about ten to fifty dollars a month in terms of pricing I wish we could like link up all the companies like as you yeah, say them, I'm you know, sure bing, we can bing, 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 we can uh, we can link them up in the YouTube uh, video um, in the show notes so mm, okay so those four I would say they're they're pr pretty robust um, they definitely provide the capabilities that you need from a perspective of you know putting together a funnel um, they have tagging capabilities most of them I think have tagging I definitely active campaign has ta tagging capabilities and so does drip um, so those would be the ones you would want to look at if you are maybe just more starting out or if you have you know a okay. business that you've had around for a couple of years and you don't maybe don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars a month for a marketing right. automation platform um, but yeah I would definitely vet those um, as your starting point for marketing automation platforms so any questions Stephen or anything that I missed yeah, I mean, lots of questions, no, nothing that you missed, uh, lots of questions just in terms of, you know, what do you think in terms of return on investment for any of these platforms? So whether it's the super high end, the couple hundred dollars a month one that you said that you use, or a lower end one, how do you think the audience or just entrepreneurs in general can gauge what would be best suited for them? I mean, obviously, a couple hundred dollars so a month sounds like a lot to some people, but other people think of it as, well, if I'm spending a couple hundred dollars a month, but it can, it can help me bring in a couple hundred thousand yeah. a month, then it's really not a big deal. Um, you know, how do you think people can accurately gauge what would sure. be most appropriate for them? Sure. I mean, I would also look at your business and, and of course, your revenue just overall. Of course, um, and all those things. I would say yeah. those would be the you know, kind of the preliminary basic no things. No specific answers. Um, but in terms of ROI, I mean, yeah, again, you want to see how much am mm -hmm. I spending on this particular um, particular marketing automation platform? How much is it uh, bringing back in revenue for me? Um, so that would definitely be the analytics that I would look into. Um, and of course you have to, you know, create and architect this particular funnel within the marketing automation platform once you purchase it. So there's definitely some, um, you know, I, I would say creativeness steps <laughs> and, 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 and multiple steps just... that go into it into, in terms of the products that you have and how you want to architect them into your funnel. So. So yeah, of course, that's a big piece of it because um, I mean we have seen some funnels on our end um, with potential clients where you know they're they're probably not bringing in a lot of revenue. So I mean, of course, you want to optimize and you want to you want to make sure that that your campaigns are bringing positive results. So and then taking a look at the ROI of that. Um, so yeah, that's probably how I would look at what I would if I'd be selecting a marketing automation platform for myself or for my business. Well. I think that's a great answer and I hope everyone agrees. Please feel free to put comments below. Looks like we're out of time for today's amazing episode and maybe we'll do a part two of this. Uh, I think that'd be a good idea. Gene, thank you so much for your wisdom and uh, I thought today was very helpful. Awesome. Thanks so much. See you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll continue to get involved and join us as we help you find success in your entrepreneurial journey. Please follow, like, and share with others who will find this beneficial. 
We'll see you on the next episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes with Stephen and Gene.